Naughty Gang, Naughty Gang, Naughty Gang. Welcome back to the channel. In today's Madden 22 video, I'm gonna go over how you can make 700,000 coins to a million by just making changes to your team. If you're new to the channel, drop a like on the video, hit that red subscribe button, turn your notifications on. We're gonna do shout outs to Narhound Master. Love the methods. Just got QB Derrick Henry by using your methods. Shout out to you. Appreciate all the love and support. We got a shout out to Mac Jr. He said, appreciate the vids. I appreciate all the love and support from y'all also. Let's get into today's method. This is your one-stop shop for all Madden needs. Whether you're looking for some fly merchandise, you're looking for eBooks, you're looking for a Patreon membership, or you just want to become part of the Tutty Squad. I appreciate all the love and support. Everything is in the link in the description. Let's get it. All right, so the number one thing that I am utilizing is the high market. The market is super high right now. What does that mean? That means this is the best time to get rid of excess players on your team. Now, I had a 25 49ers 25 Jets team all year but at this time of the season a lot of the players like the Jets the 49ers they are super high on the market they have a top four to top five theme team if that's a team that you root for go ahead keep your team but me I broke that team all the way down and now I'm switching to a Lions theme team I'm from Michigan, so now I'm gonna use the team that I like. They have enough players in, and they're gonna be three times cheaper than if you're using Cowboys players, 49ers players, or Jets players. So I'm gonna be making a Lions theme team, and I'm gonna save myself 700,000 coins to over a million. So if you look at this Keyshawn Johnson, I sold off this Keyshawn Johnson a week ago for 295,000 coins. Then I turned around and picked him up right before Christmas for 203,000 coins. Now that the market is on the rise, he's back up to 250K-ish. I can sell him off and this will get me a Kelvin Johnson for my Lions team. Might have to add another 10,000, but this 94 is equivalent to a player that's gonna be on my theme team. So for the Lions, 93, 94 overalls, that's going for 200K, 220, 230K. Once the program is finished, all them players will drop to their original price. I'll be able to pick them up for 95,000, 110, 115,000 for 93 to 94 overall players, okay? So some of the big teams is gonna stay high. They'll stay about 70 to 80K over what the lower theme teams is. So now that I've been watching the market for a while, I'm gonna take advantage of that. So he just sold, so that's 242,000 coins that I'm about to add to the bank, okay? So his price should be around 197 to 198,000 coins. I'm gonna take this extra 40 to 50K and I'm gonna use it for building my newer theme team, just like this Jets player right here. This 92 overall is worth 82,000 snow, so I can roll for limiteds, or I can take this player that's 130, 140,000 coins. This 92 should be sitting around 85, 90,000 coins. That's an extra 40 to 50,000 that I'm gonna take from him being overly expensive. Then you have all these lower overall players. The Ed Reed that got the Jets Kim, the Darrell Reeves that got the Jets Kim, all these 89 overall players are three to four months old. They should be super, super cheap. Without this promo with the snow and with the training, this 89 overall should be 18 to 24,000 coins. He's going for 40K still, okay? So you can sell it for the 40K or I can take the training and add on and get more rerolls. That'll put me over 30K training. And just like the last video, you can take that training and roll that over to snow. 
Once you get up to about 250, 260,000 snow, you are in a good window to pull more and more limiteds. And this is the same method I've been using to roll all my limiteds. I've been recycling my training down because I know that I'm gonna make a different theme team now that's gonna be super, super cheap in the next three to four days once this promo is over. Right now, everybody is selling and spending almost double what they should okay unless you're using the 87 overall snipe method that i showed you which is only within a two to three hour window where you're going to get the best prices so at the end of the day i'll have a new team in about four to five days to use with about 2.8 to 3 million coins to spend once i make my new team and the prices go down to where they should be at, I might spend 1.7 to 1.8 million coins and still have a little over a million left in the bank for all the next cards and the next promo. When the Easter promo come out, I'll be able to do the same method. I'll be able to get training, I'll be able to roll the limiteds and all that type of good stuff. So I'm not telling you what to do. If you like your team that you have already, go ahead and keep that team. Just know that the team that you currently have is overpriced and you can get a better value for your team and in return put more coins in your bank if you was able to consolidate some of them players. You don't have to have the best player at every position unless you are a competitive Madden player and you get paid for it. Otherwise, if you just want to have fun, if you just want to build coins, if you just want to win some games, beat your friend, play some squads, Make sure that you take advantage of the super high price right now. Sell off any extra players because you can go back in four to five days when the promo is over and pick them players up. Or you can build a theme team, 50 out of 50 players. You can still put six to seven other players on your team that you really like. I can do the Lions theme team and I can still use this QB, Derrick Henry. I can do a Lions theme team. I can still use this halfback. Ricky Williams because you still have spots to be able to put you a Marlon Humphrey, a Isaiah Simmons, any of that type of stuff in. You still have extra spaces, but you're going to have plus two speeds on your main players. My Kelvin Johnson is going to be plus two speed before the strat cards. My Matt Stafford, plus two speed. My Swift, my Barry Sanders, plus two speed. If they drop a night train lane into the game, plus two speed. So theme teams is the way to go and that's gonna help you overall save coinage. I got 39 to 40,000 training. I'm about to roll and see if I can pull more limiteds. I'm trying to get seven to eight limiteds in my binder because I know once the next limiteds go out of pack, all these will rise up another 30 to 40,000 coins. Profit, baby.